Okay. You hear that sound, you run. And I mean run. So um, I'm in Ocala, Florida, and um, this is actually my third time attempting to visit Jeepers Creepers filming locations. Um, the first time we were kind of like not prepared for it. We were going somewhere else and we ended up finding out that Jeepers Creepers filmed nearby. So we went quickly and looked at a few. The second time we were coming back from the Truman Show, so we were already tired. So this time I wanted to redo anything that I missed and also visit one more location that we didn't get to the first two times, which is the meat marketplace. And the meat marketplace, it's kind of iffy because there's like three different addresses online. So I think IMDB would be more correct personally, um, but uh, we're gonna visit two of those locations and check them out, see what looks more real um but rumor has it that it was torn completely down and something else was built in its place and then imdb's location i don't think there's anything there anymore i don't know it's a mess but anyways Dundalin, Florida? Does that sound right? It sounds right to me. All right, anyway, so we're in Dundalin, Florida. It's close to Ocala, Florida. Um, we were not here for a filming location, but we ended up at one. I just happened to look up something real quick, like haunted places here, and Jeepers Creepers filming location popped up. So we're here, and I'm walking towards um, these famous trees that you see in the shots. But like, first time that the creeper tries to run them off the road um, you know the brother and the sister forgive me I forget names right now they were coming this way when they were driving and as he 
pushes him off the road and he's like, what the hell? Like, you know, he's like, what the hell is your problem or whatever? Like, what the hell is your problem? Like, the car, kind of, when, he, when he hits them, he kind of hits them like right about here because then they run into the fence, this fence right here. And then the car goes straight straight right by these trees right here and it stops like right in between there this would be that area where this would be that area where the car gets run off to but yeah so that would be the angle that they were driving right into here don't kill us okay <laughs> angle of those trees where the car kind of stops just in Lon's car that is um yeah it would have stopped like right about there and it came right through that fence oh. and then yeah that was the direction they were coming from and then the other side of this road is where they stop to pee, which is all the way back there to your left. where they filmed most of the car chasing scenes. That road in the movie was also the same road where the church was. And that is not the same thing in real life. Actually, it's about 20 minutes away. And this field over here, actually to be more exact, the field is more close to this side over here, like right about, hold on, I gotta make sure I'm looking. Yeah, like right about here. This area here, this is where the church was. It burned down. Don't ask me when, I'm not really sure when it burned down. I think a couple of years after filming it burned down. But anyways, so that's, this is where that location is. This is where the church was. Also like the pipe where he kept all the bodies down below. And that's where like um, dairy like falls through, like falls in there and sees all those dead bodies. That's, that's where this location is or was. Um, so now it's just this big old field. There's a church that unfortunately burned down. It's just this now, the only thing that remains from the church, according to something I saw online, is that pipe that's sticking right there, right there. So that's like the only thing that's left from the church now. But this was the area that was in. Um, I don't know exactly where that big pipe would have been. Um, but uh, I want to say you see some of these trees in the movie. Um, but yeah, so this is the field where the church was. is driving when they're driving and they see the church which would have been right there I want to say they were coming this way um, and I don't know there's a house somebody's house over there I don't know if that I don't think it was visible in the movie but I've gotten a lot of questions about the cat lady house I do not know where that is um, and what else yeah so that's about it Take a look one more time. Uh. 
Okay, so right now I'm at the diner where Jerry and Trish stop to use the phone. As you see, it's a vacant location. And um, right where my car is, that's right about where the car parked. And there was some gas pumps like right over here or so. And um, I'm gonna peek inside a little bit at the diner and show you guys what's left of the diner. would have been like maybe right about there so I don't know and then uh, when they come in there was a bunch of people inside the waitress was probably standing right over here to the right it's kind of hard to see and that payphone I would say would have been right back there where you see the restroom signs I think I don't know I'm just guessing but I'm guessing the payphone would have been back there And then that's when they talk to that psycho or that psychic, the psycho, sorry about that, that psychic lady, you know, and that whole thing happens. And then eventually somebody yells out that the creeper is out or was, I guess, I don't know. They yell out something and then they come out to see that their car had been, like all their stuff had been taken out of their car and all their clothes was on the ground. So yeah, I would think that the car was parked right about where mine is. Um, but yeah, there's not really much to show you guys from this location. Um, kind of sucks that there's nothing left. There's more of that. So yeah, so just close your little eyes and uh, picture Dairy and Trish in there. All right. All right, so that's about it for this location. And we're gonna go ahead and head out to the next one. Lots of cats. Who the hell is this? How, how do you know Dairy? Who is this? Now I'm in Reddick, what used to be Reddick High School. Now, it's abandoned and there's a library towards the back. Um, so anyways, they use this building for the police department. They shot some scenes, some exterior shots and interior shots, but only um, the downstairs were shot here. Everything upstairs and with the, with the, you know, the big creature and stuff that was shot in a different um, studio, I guess. I'm not sure where it was shot, but this building was used for exteriors and then um, the downstairs interiors. So, just gonna look around and see if we recognize anything. So we're gonna go towards the back to see if um, anything lines up with the picture we have. Um, so I guess the entire school is completely abandoned and there's a building towards the back that they're using as a library. And I think that is a working library till this day. Um, I don't really know much about this building except for that it was used for the movie and, and that not all of the interior shots were filmed here, only some. But that's as far as, as, as much as I know. And then I guess there's another building over there was part of the school. And right there, that's the library I'm telling you guys about. Um, so I guess that's a working library. 
Kind of creepy, actually. It does kind of give you those Jeepers Creepers vibe, doesn't it? Okay, so this side entrance is actually to the right if you're looking at the building from, from the front. So to the side of that, to the right. This is the entrance they used for the movie. Just because um, this, you can see this shot and you'll see some of these windows. But this would be the entrance they used in the movie. Everything looks a little different now, but everything's boarded up too. A lot of these windows and doors weren't boarded up before. hoping to see the stairs. There's like a set of stairs that you could see. But that's probably going deep in there, which I don't want to do. So like I was saying before, um, the last location I was really contemplating whether I wanted to add it to this video because I have found two different addresses. On IMDB, the address is 300 Northwest 14th Street and another address that i found is 315 northwest 14th street which is this right behind me um so it's very strange i don't know which one to go by like i would think that imdb would be correct because they don't usually post specific addresses just like they'll tell you like it's filmed in california or it's filmed in miami but usually they don't put addresses up but anyways when i was driving it kind of stopped me like about this side over here this is where like the 300 northwest the imdb address it kind of stopped me in this location like right back there it says you've arrived um which also could be this here and this is where most people think um it used to be so um i believe it was called white meats packaging um, now it's this technology center. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Even from the scene itself, it's hard to tell the location from the outside because they don't show you much, but that was it. 300 on IMDb it kind of stopped like when I was driving right about here I said you've arrived so it could be this or it could be that I, I, I don't know to be honest with you but I guess this is I don't know why it would come up as 300 and then most people have 315 I couldn't tell you guys but um, this is what it's all right guys I hope you have enjoyed this video of Jeepers Creepers and we'll see you next time on my next filming location bye